Hello and welcome to the Museum of Everything Else. Uh, today we're going to talk about this thing, which is from uh, quite an inspirational builder of mine, whom I've known of probably ever since I started doing DIY electronics and stuff. He goes by the name of Herz Gierskis. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It turns out I've been pronouncing his name wrong the whole time, but uh, I think that's correct. Herz is a Dutch artist that specializes in, uh, you know, electronic hacking and stuff, and he's done some extremely interesting things. You may know his name if you've ever seen the voltmeter percussion Eurorack modules, or even the free Trins video synthesizer. When I knew that I was opening the Museum of Everything Else, I decided to contact him and see if he had anything interesting that I could potentially commission off him uh, for the museum. And this is what we came up with in the end. It's the Zuna panel number three, it's in a series of similar pieces like this, all made from solar panels. A uh, Zona panel, uh, Dutch for solar panel. This uses solar energy to power the meters, which are beating pieces of copper to make a rather nice and peaceful sounding percussion instrument. And I figured, why not have a chat with him about this and uh, a lot of his other creations. How's it going? Yeah, good, yeah. I've known of your work for many years after seeing your website I think I think I found it in 2011. Uh huh. Cool. When, when, how how long have you been doing this? I I, I started when I finished school, a while before already, like uh, 1998 or something. I think I because then I was in school and I and I wanted to uh, make some uh, electronics with uh, and uh, to do uh, video and audio and stuff. And uh, yeah, I had some instruments from my dad. Uh, like a drum computer and a synthesizer and like there are a number of uh, projects that I've seen that you've been that you've done that people a lot of people will know for instance the uh, where is it the free trends well I uh, use it uh, so yeah, it's my main uh, main product uh, like, uh, it's, uh, I think it's, it's 2016 or something before I had like a, a HSS uh, uh, HS3 which is a video synth, and then I, I produced it together with uh, Bleep Labs in America. Uh, but there were some problems with the converter, and then uh, Bleep Labs told me, like, uh, well, maybe you can develop something new, uh, because this is what uh, this cannot, uh, it's a difficult problem. And then I developed this, uh, this one uh, around uh, 4106, uh, the speed trigger, uh, because I thought it would be nice that. Uh, and well, it was the easiest chip to use for oscillators, and then uh, thought it would also be funny to make like a video synth with this chip, which is usually the first oscillator that people built. Uh. Yeah, there was like a video synthesizer that you did before it. That was like a, I swear, I tried building it and I couldn't get it to work many years ago. It was like a, like the the, the you put a video into it. A sampler maybe. Uh, I made an Arduino video sampler. Okay. And then there's the time-based forcer. Yeah, uh, oh, which was a... like uh, it was the idea was to make a time-based corrector, but then more simple. And then uh, yeah, so this video synth, this three trends, that's basically the time-based uh, time-based forcer is in there, and like the oscillator, it's like a collection of all different devices that I made before into one thing, and then uh, so it could all be in one thing at the same time, and then. Uh, so it's um the, so the three trends is um findings over many years put put into one circuit board. Yes, yeah, kind of, yeah. That was yeah. Uh, uh, like the things I learned, but then I could also do it because because it was one thing with all those things I could do it better and make it better than the previous ones as well. When it was I did the remote control car. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One and then uh, yeah. yeah you you've done, you did a similar one. <laughs> I really, I really, I like your videos, of course. So I watch uh, everything. Uh, <laughs> I know it's synth car. Oh, thank you. And the idea was that it drives around, and then everything around it influences uh, what what sounds it makes. So the, it's the movements and the distance to the car, and then uh, and usually I, I, I like this, like for instance, this car, and I put a lot of ideas into in this, to this thing and I take one thing that's uh, that I learned from it and then I make it into a product as well like the wavetable radar it comes from the synth car you know? oh really so it's like a, it's like a like a test you're I mean you do a number of Eurorack mod modules you've been doing that since what like 2014 2013 
Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, there was an exhibition, and then uh, I decided, like, what should I do? Let me make some Eurac modules or not? And so then I tried it, and uh, yeah, I made like, a whole series of electromechanical modules. Uh, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing those. The first, they were all. Awesome. They 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 are still awesome, and they're still you're still selling them like the VU um, the percussion, the ones made from the um, meters. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think that's my that's some, the most well known one. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, can make some really nice uh, sounds. Huh? <laughs> yeah, so it's really cool. And uh, and also the um, I mean you've done different versions of these, but the the re reverse DC motor ones are woo. And the most recent one is it the HSS twenty twenty? Well, because I was in my apartment a lot with Corona stuff and. Uh, <laughs> with my girlfriend and then i was thinking like what can i do on a computer when without all my stuff around so i basically redesigned all designs which was like the hss2 from 2008 2009 so yeah. i think it was the first arduino project kind of and then um, i redesigned that one to be compatible with a pocket operator because because it it works very similar and like it's also got like a the binary uh, length and stuff like that and uh, like to inputs to outputs and uh, so then I re really made it into this uh, which I, I could do on my computer and also with my, like a few uh, breadboard and stuff. I remember what was oh, I just fell out seeing you sharing a picture of I don't know one of your ones that was uh, just uh, surface mount chips sat on the uh, end. <laughs> There was dirty, uh, dirty express, uh, yeah. thing, which was like, uh, yeah, it was um, when you have a circuit board and uh, like a SMD, and and then uh, like one of the resistors has like a bad connection. Sometimes it goes up, and it's it's called Tom Stoning, which is a name for this uh, for this uh, thing. Oh, I see. And, yeah, and uh, so I. Um, what I did was uh, I tried to make a circuit board that would force all the all the resistors to, to become tombstones, and and you have this field of tombstones. Uh, yeah, but in the end, I put it in my oven, and uh, none of the resistors went up. Oh it no! Didn't work. So I, I manually sold them all straight. Oh, up. the tweezers! Oh, uh, not even one. None of them did. The none of them. No, no, they're all flat. Rubbish. And um, getting on to the, um, use, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing them right because I've got a couple of extra letters, but the Zona, Zona Panel, Zona Panel, how do you say it? Zona Panel? Yeah, that's a Dutch name for a solar panel, basically. Zona Panel. Okay, yeah, I see. So these projects, are they, is this a 2020 project, this whole collection? Yeah, it's like uh, I saw some video on YouTube where these guys they were using this. Uh, like I had like broken, uh, broken uh, solar panel elements and still make it into a solar panel. It looked really nice. So I, uh, I made it into a project with solar panels and uh, it's recycled stuff. It was, uh, it was really like a, uh, like a big series, but uh, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll make more. But it's. The sun is uh, gone now uh, <laughs> for this year. And I've just looked at the picture again. I've realized I've uh, put it the wrong way around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can put it well, however you want, I think. And they're very fragile, those solar panels. You can, uh, if you buy, I bought some on AliExpress. You, you normally you have the ones with uh, where there's epoxy on it already. And uh, you can also buy them without epoxy and they're, they're much more, much cheaper. You can have like 50 panels for 10 euro or something. And then you can really make like your own solar panel in, in with uh, in any shape you want, like with some distance in between. So you can just plan to put the circuits in between solar panels. Also with the beam bot circuits, so you can use like motors. And uh, and I wanted to make it so it works in the shadow, so you can uh, you can uh, you don't need direct sunlight. So it should maybe it still works. And what are the circuits? Because I noticed it's uh, got an oscillator before the motor. What what circuits are you using to make the movements? It's uh, it's basically a blinking LED. So it's, uh, the blinking LED by turning on it switches the meter on and off, and that makes it hit the the metal uh, spring. 
It oh, of be. course. So it's as, it's as simple as a flashing LED. I'd, cool. But it's a really cool thing. I haven't found a place for it yet. Still trying to figure out where to put it. There was one There was one other project that came to mind, and I just wanted you talking about it. And it reminded me when I looked on the Free Trins uh, page, the oh, uh, yeah. rotating uh, circular motored sequencer. You've built a few of those, haven't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have it like uh, one with arms. Let's uh, track like a rotating disc with uh, dots on it, and then hmm. can, like different sounds or different pitches with the arms, uh, servos control. Yeah, the acid machine, but it's uh, which was like a discs four step synthesizer with some uh, tones and then a filter and a bike light and a disc, which was more visual. Uh, reference so yeah if anybody's seen this but like it hasn't hasn't been on the website i thoroughly recommend having a look through it's uh extremely inspirational and uh yeah you, you're a very prolific uh, creator of experimental musical and video electronic machines thanks yeah <laughs> awesome and it, it was awesome to chat as well and uh yeah, me too I'll be doing one video about different pieces in the museum every week, so uh, keep up to date with that. If you like what you see, then uh, don't forget to subscribe and also check out Hughes Gieski's website. It's thoroughly interesting if you've never seen it before. Anyway, take care.